You touched a little bit on removing amalgam fillings. How dangerous can that be? And is it even more dangerous when you mentioned if there's other metals in the mouth that actually form a current? And, and what happens when right. you take one of those metals then out? Exactly. So you have to be you have to go to a dentist who is experienced. I have a lot of experience. I've been interested in this for 20 years, mm -hmm. over 20 years, and I've worked with many dentists. There are different approaches. Some dentists go very, go very slowly, and some dentists want to take the whole thing at once with, with, with intravenous therapy and some homeopathic, and the idea is that you're not left with, with some in and some out. Mm -hmm. You just clean the whole thing, which is usually an extreme approach. Traditionally, you do one quadrant in a, at a time, so it's, f it's four different sessions. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting, if you have metal and, 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 the, and the amalgam, usually you will remove only one kind of metal first. So you will focus on your amalgam feeling. I mean, gold, per, per definition, it's a more of an inert metal. It's less of an issue. You know, it's, it's, it's not as damaging. So you, first of all, you move the amalgam out. But it's very important to have the right conditions in the room. In the right mm -hmm. conditions, it's an excellent procedure. If you're not doing it in the right way, people can get very sick with removal mm -hmm. of amalgam. And on the other hand, how quickly can patients recover from certain conditions once the amalgam is removed? Much quicker. For example, a patient with chronic candida, with chronic yeast infection, mm -hmm. with dysbiosis, as long as they have amalgam feelings, they cannot get rid of it. Because you have ongoing leaching of amalgam. It was shown when, when we chew, there are vapors of the amalgam which are released. They go into, and they go into, the, into the gut. They are being methylated by the candida. The candida uses them for its own growth. They get absorbed, and then you get fogginess and, and, and mental issues. So there's a vicious cycle between mercury and candida and dysbiosis. Once you remove the amalgam feelings, then you can deal with the gut health. And in general, you don't want to use systemic chelating agents that goes into the tissues, especially DMPS or DMSA, if you have amalgam feelings, because they will pull amalgam from the amalgam feelings. And that's the advantage of the modified citrus packing. It will not do it. It just works in the circulation. That's why it's safe. It will keep on cleaning whatever is released. Maybe one more comment. The older the feeling, the less mercury it has. Because the feeling is 20 or 30 years old, it's already released a lot of its mercury. So the biggest issue are with new, fresh feelings. And so many cases you see patients and they had some amalgam feeling, then boom, shortly after, health, health deteriorated. So if you have an older feeling, does it make sense to remove it? It still makes sense, but it's not as critical. Okay. Like if somebody is 50 and he had this feeling when he was 12 or 13, mm -hmm. it's not such a big of an issue compared to having it 5, 10 years ago.